Hi everyone. This is a very short and quick video for you. Um, if you feel insecure sometimes or not seen, not valued, not loved, and you don't know how to find back into your center and get clear about your next step, this is what I do. And I noticed it lately within myself and so I thought I'd hop on here real quickly to share this um, little practice with you because it really helps me to clear my energy, to ground myself and um, yeah, to then know what the next step I need to take. So this is applicable to any area of your life, um, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your friendships, in your relationships whatever, um, because it all comes down to you being you and you allowing yourself to be all of you and you are not questioning that what who you are is enough, is good enough, um, you do not have to change anything and that you then can show up unapologetically, confident, grounded in yourself. So let's say you, like this came up for me lately um, as well, that when I have some phases when I'm tired and my energy is low and I'm a projector, right? So with all things going on, there is some intense energy shifts happening and so I can feel it. So whenever I then not take care of myself enough, I feel suddenly a shift and it pivots from being in the flow and letting source guide me and my inner voice. I'm very, very strongly connected, usually when I'm in alignment with my intuition. So I, I feel guided, I feel safe, I feel confident because I, I always take action from within. I let myself be led. And I always ask, what's the next step? What's the next step? What should I create? Guide me, show me. Okay, I feel inspired and then I take action and everything kind of beautifully comes together. Whenever my energy is out of whack, I haven't sleep, sleep, slept enough, I got drained through other people's energy or the, the collective, the cosmic things happening, this flow is clogged because I... I do not nourish myself so I feel disconnected and so I feel disconnected from source and then I do not feel resourceful and what's then happening is and I see this a lot with my clients and also with my friends then they start looking outside and think they need to do something or connect with people or talk to someone um, or ask their partner um, to support them feeling better and um, maybe you start comparing yourself to others and then you look what they do and what they have and suddenly you're going down the rabbit hole that they have this and you do not have it and so you feel not worthy, not seen, not valued because you're looking outside for something that makes you feel better but you will never find this outside of you. So the spiral kind of gets even more frantic and you feel even more insecure and maybe you feel um, you try to make things even more work for you so that you reach out to people and you ask your partner, hey, can you say I need a compliment or I need a hug right now, but just call, just, just, the energy is off because you're looking outside for something that you only can give yourself. So whenever you do not feel seen, you got to see yourself first, especially as a projector, because we have this not self theme, which means when we're not in alignment, when we're not nourished, when we're not grounded, when we do not see ourselves, we look outside and then we do not feel seen because we see others so in detail so particular and it's always hard for us to see ourselves and so the tendency is always to look for validation and to look for our, our 
identity and um, make our self-worth independent or um, dependent on others or other things or maybe you feel more seen or more safe by earning a certain amount of money or having a certain amount of success or whatever. And this is always a frantic energy that will not work. So whenever you're in that energy, and I can talk for myself as well, like whenever I try to make things, try to show up from this energy so that I feel seen. So for example, if I go live just to feel better, to feel seen and have likes or interact with people, oh, that's a weird energy, right? So instead of that making it work it's pushing energy the energy is really really felt I, I go like okay what can I do to ground myself first I've got to stop everything that is coming from this energy and get yourself grounded and clear the energy and ask yourself what do I really need so instead of looking outside and that your partner gives you a hug where can you connect to yourself more where do you need to see yourself? Where do you need to love yourself? Where do you need to hug yourself? Where um, are things inside of you that need to be looked at? Even if it's uncomfortable and even if you think that only other people can give it to you or it would be easier, no, you gotta sit and be quiet first. And so what I do is I love to do yoga or I love to do go for a walk, I love to be in my energy and look at, hey, what am I good at? What are my gifts? Even and like comparison is such a big thing, like a big trap for me. So looking at others, okay, they have this, what I want, and I do not have it right now. How can I see this as an inspiration, as a reflection of my own potential um, so that I get there? And when I look at this, what they may have, what I don't have, I can look at other areas in my life where I already am successful, where I already have proved or shown to myself that I can create whatever I want. So always bring it back to you and always cut any thoughts that you think you need to prove something, achieve them something. Like the whole conditioning that your parents told you, the teachers or your ex-partners, you got to be a certain person to be loved, to be seen, to be successful. That's all BS that is conditioning in our mind. And it's not working anymore. This is what we see. This whole new paradigm is about either you find trust and lead yourself from within or you nothing will work. You won't get the success that you want. You won't get the partner that you want. It's not working. So you got to do the inner work first. And so with this practice that I do is really... This morning I went to the, to a walk and I sat underneath a tree and I really reflected on it and tuned in and like what's really going on? Why are you wanting it so bad? Why can't you trust? Why is it still there? And then there's this frantic that's coming up and this is really yucky, yucky. This energy, I don't like it anymore. So I'm like, okay, I will not move anything. I do not do anything. I'm going to try to create anything from this energy. So. I commit to clear my energy first, get grounded, get really honest, also vulnerable, allow myself to feel all the feelings, look at it, I journal it out, and then I ask myself, what do I need to have in place to really see myself, my own greatness? And you know what? It is really this trusting and human design helped me with that. Because I see my energetic blueprint is here. It's, it's in my energetic DNA. It's my soul blueprint. I see my gifts. I see my talents. I see my potential. And so there's nothing that that is questionable. And then I decide to stop questioning myself and just trust even more. And also trust the method and the process. And trusting a method is really helpful for me. So my yoga practice, showing up every day and trusting that I, even if I do just five minutes of yoga, I know I can trust the method, I feel better. So this evening I practiced yoga 
a little bit, not the full practice, but I felt so much better. I moved my body and I dropped in and I, I got shown about how capable I am, what I achieved. Like the, 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 I reminded myself when I started yoga um, and where I'm now or what I've overcome in my life and what I'm now at. Everything that I created here is the result of my own work. So it is working. And I got to a point where I'm now because I wanted it and I figured it out and I always got supported. And when I look back, yes, I always am supported. I'm always safe. But it's just my mind making me feel not safe and not seen because I have still the programming sometimes coming up that I need certain things to feel safe and feel worthy. But that's all old BS. And so I, help, I hope that this helped you to get clear about what needs to shift when you feel out of alignment. You've got to see yourself first before you can be seen by others. And human design is just one tool to do that. Feeling into your body, dropping back into your truth, connecting with your breath, and um, allowing yourself to be vulnerable, to feel your feelings, um, to also talk about it and show up. When you show up in truth, even if you think you mess it up and just share this, your feelings, how you feel, that's coming from love and from trust that even this is enough. Even showing my vulnerable parts doesn't make me feel, uh, be seen weak or not perfect or not capable. No, it's just you're a human. And when you let your, allow yourself show up as who you are, you can let... God step in or spirit step in and guide you the way and then the channels open again. So whenever we feel disconnected and try to make things work, we got to connect first to ourselves, to God, to within, to your own greatness and then take action from there and then everything will unfold. But it's all about trusting, trusting, trusting. So my invitation for you, do whatever it takes to see yourself, to recognize yourself, to connect to yourself, disconnect from the outer world, ground yourself, breathe, and make it a practice. Trust the method, choose your method, and then take action from there, not before. Okay, my loves, I hope that helped, and I see you soon. Oh. Drop in the comments below whatever comes up when you do this or when you listen to this. I would love to know. I come back um, always. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Love you. Bye.